I don't have a lot of time today. My wife's not feeling well, so I had to take the girls to school, and now my I'm behind on my day. I've got a plan for a video follow up to yesterday's video where I set up the bedroom studio. Ta -da! I'll get there, it's just gonna take me some time, but it's gonna be fun, so stick around. What I wanna talk to you about today is songwriting. I've mentioned before I'm working on writing for a new EP, and I've got several songs, but I probably could use a few more, and we're tracking one week from today. So I've got a little bit of time, but not that much time, but I tend to work well with some sort of a deadline in place. I wanna talk about how to capture your ideas. So what apps I use once I've written a song or once I come up with a song idea, what apps do I use for free on my iPhone to capture those ideas? There's two that I use and they're both 100% free. So I'm gonna show those to you right now. Real quickly though, it's important to capture the ideas. If you're new to songwriting or if you're a songwriting veteran, you can understand if you think you'll remember a great melody for the next time you pick up your guitar, you probably won't. There are probably more great songs have probably been forgotten than have been written. We now carry a recording device in our pockets at all times. So go ahead and capture those song ideas. The app that I use the most for capturing those ideas is just simply the voice memo app on the iPhone. This is what I've used for years. I'll show you the music memos app in a second. It's really very simple. You open it up, you hit the red record button, and it starts recording immediately. So quick, my idea is being laid down as we speak. Here's a great song idea, yeah. I hit done and I can name it Greatness. And it saves. And it's right there, I can come back and listen to it whenever I want. Button. And it starts recording immediately. So and it's just, just amazing. And actually the sound quality is not too bad on these suckers. Now, what I really like about voice memos, and I just found this out recently, is, so let's say I came up with that first little, it's like the first line of a chorus. And I think later in the day I've been listening to it and kind of mulling it over and I think, oh, I have the second line of the chorus. I can come into that same audio file, I hit edit, and it shows you the waveform. Now I can just scroll past it and go to the end of that existing waveform and hit record. And now I'm recording, appending that previous recording. So now I'm talking about my awesome second line of the chorus, and now it's there. I can go back and listen to both of them. When I hit done, now it's done. So now when I go back to listen to this particular song idea, it's called Greatness right now, it's now 20 seconds long because I added more audio to the end. You can do this as many times as you want. So if you are mulling over a song for a couple of days and you keep coming up with new ideas for the same song, you can just add them to the end of the recording. When you're done, you can send that one single MP3 to yourself via text, email, sync it up to your computer, however you wanna do that, and you've got it all in one place, as opposed to having 13 different files all with ideas for that same song, it's gonna be easy to misplace those. So if you tend to work that way, and I work that way sometimes. Some songs, I just write the whole thing and sit down and I'm done. Some songs I need to do it in pieces and I think of an idea while I'm in the car and I record it down to work through later. This is a handy tool to be able to aggregate all those different ideas into one audio file. The major downside to the Voice Memos app, it doesn't sync to iCloud. So if I drop my phone in a river right after having an amazing song idea, it's gone forever. So you have to sync this to your computer uh, or you have to manually send this to yourself or add it to a note that then syncs to iCloud. That's the only downside I don't like. It will sync if you use iTunes to sync your phone, but who uses iTunes to sync their phone? So that's the one major downside. Otherwise, I love this app. Now, the Voice Memos app, it's supposed to be for musicians. The, music, the musician parts of it aren't that great. It has a built-in drummer and bass player that's supposed to play along with you. I have not gotten that to work well at all yet without a lot of work, and the whole point is for it to not be a lot of work. But if you wanna lay down whole song ideas, so you wrote a song, you just need to record it, this is a great one for that. It's also great for ideas, but every idea is gonna be its own file name. So you're gonna have to do some be a little more organized with that in order to be able to find everything for a particular song. But it allows you very quickly to just hit record and now I'm recording. The only downside with it is once it's recorded, it tries to analyze what chords I played, it tries to add a beat to it, which you can turn that stuff off, but it doesn't allow me to record any more on this particular file. If I hit record again, it's just recorded a new idea. So this is idea 21, I hit record again, here's idea 22. 
that's idea 22. So every time I hit record, it's a new idea. Now you can add tags to your idea. So if you had a cool chorus, you could add, or if you made a tag for the song, for example, that you're working on, you could add that tag to every clip that is associated with that song and then you can kind of quickly find them. But in general, I find this to be useful for, we've written a song, let's record it. Plop the phone down and you play through the whole song and it's there. The thing I like the most about the Music Memos app is it does sync to iCloud. I actually first used this app like two years ago and then I forgot about it because I like the Voice Memos app better in general. Then I added the app back to this phone and I had like 16 ideas from two years ago. One of which, I started, I actually used to start writing a new song. So it's really handy to have it automatically back up. That's the one thing I don't like about voice memos, but those are the two apps I use for free made by Apple on your phone. I am sure there are better apps out there. If you know of some, please leave a comment below. Let's make the comment section a collection of cool app ideas for songwriters. Most important thing, don't get too caught up in the app. Get caught up in writing songs and capturing ideas. That's what this, that's the name of the game here. What system you use for that can change over time, but be in the habit of writing and capturing those ideas because I promise you, you'll forget them if you don't capture them. Now, once you've written the song and it's time to record, you need to do the song justice. You need to know enough about recording to capture that recording well. That's why I made my recording cheat sheet. I cover 12, ha 12 habits in that cheat sheet that if you master even just one or two of them, you'll get dramatically better results when it comes to recording your songs. And your songs deserve it. So head over to recordingcheatsheet.com. It's 100% free. Check it out. See if it works for you. And I'm out of time. See ya. Oh, hell my eyes.